Hi everybody, thanks for joining me on the mat today. I have a set of three pound weights. Really anything between two and five pounds will work perfectly. And we're doing an ab circuit today, so let's get started on the mat. Coming onto all fours, we'll start warming up the spine with a few cat and cows. Inhale, arching the spine. Exhale, scoop and curl. Really moving from the abs, tucking the tail under, opening up the shoulder blades. And then we'll add thread the needle. Inhale, open up the chest. Exhale, thread through, reach. And we'll take it right back up, letting that hand come back down towards the floor, other side. Get all the air out as you twist through. And then bringing both hands back down. We're gonna go into our first exercise. So tabletop hover with a kick and twist. We're doing each exercise 30 times. Opposite hand reaches for the toe. Keep the hips low and just transitioning side to side. Keep the belly pulling back. Try and stay strong through the chest, through the upper body. You're really lifting up out of the floor with the hands. And breathe through this. We're gonna do just one round of each move. So hang with me. Starting to heat up the body a little bit here. Kick and twist, reaching for the toes, abs pull back. Trying to kick that leg right in line with the hips. Almost there, and release. Nice job, first exercise done. Take a child's pose, breathe here for a moment. And we're gonna take it right into our second exercise. Alternating side planks, we're gonna come down onto our forearms. Opening up one side, we reach for the ceiling. Try to keep the hips hovering and let the whole side of the foot come down onto the mat each time. Squeezing that bottom waist up. If you can, follow the top hand as you reach for the ceiling. And you can always slow your tempo. Think about your form, your alignment, and really working from your core out, right? Our power initiating from our waist, from our powerhouse and reaching all the way out through our spine, through our fingers, through our toes. Really feel the back open up. Last one. And release back into your child's pose. Nice job. Second exercise, down. Breathing here, reset, let that breath re-energize you. And we're going into our third exercise. We're just gonna come forward onto our full plank and we have 30 mountain climbers. Exhale, pulling that knee into the chest. Keeping the gaze slightly in front of the mat so the back of the neck is long. Keep the abs lifting up. And really, again, firing through the corners of the chest so we're not sinking into our upper back, but really lifting up out of the floor. By creating an imaginary picture. Usually it's something Last set. And release back. Nice job. Taking a few breaths here to reset before we go into our next exercise. You're gonna round up, we're gonna flip over, taking it into forearm toe dips. So grabbing your weight, you're gonna place it between your feet. So I'm squeezing right in my arches, coming down onto my forearms, and both toes are gonna to dip together. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. You're welcome to modify and bring this all the way down onto your back if you need. Otherwise, on your forearms, really drive the forearms down into the mat to lift up and out of the chest, right? We wanna think proud chest wide collarbone, chin is parallel to the floor and we're long through the back of the neck. Keep scooping the abs down towards the mat, pulling the belly away from your thighs, especially as you draw the knees back in towards the chest. Keep that breath flowing. 
And you're about halfway there. Stay in it. Just 30 of each exercise, one and done. You got five left for four. Exhale, pull. Three, two, and last one. You made it. Nice job. Let that weight go. Let your hip flexors reset. We're coming down for a sit up with overhead press. You got weights in both of your hands. We want to think about rolling through the spine, up and down, anchor the bottoms of the feet into the mat here. And just enjoy the articulation of the spine all the way down onto the mat and as you float up, right? Each time we want to come into that neutral spine, really find your sits bones, lengthen up out of them, punching for the ceiling, right? Always moving with resistance. Think about it as if you're moving through water or honey. Right, so you're in control through every inch of movement. Let that breath flow in and out. You are halfway there. Keeping that focus. Right, sticking to those Pilates principles as we move through, as we get a little uncomfortable. Finding the coordination, the flow, the precision right? Try to make every rep a little bit different than the last one. You got four left now. Keep fighting for a little bit more length each time for three, two, and last one, slowly control all the way down onto the mat. Nice job, take a second, lengthen the legs out. Reset, re-energize for our next exercise. We're coming into teaser and just twisting side to side. Try to keep those legs as still as you can as we wring out the waist. Trying to draw the elbow down towards the mat. Let the gaze follow the hands. This is a quick one. It's gonna be over before you know it. Last few here. And slowly lower all the way down. Nice job. Breathe it out. Our next exercise is gonna bring us back up into teaser. So just send some love to those hip flexors. And when you're ready, exhale, float back up. We're taking single leg stretch with a weight pass. So the weight is passing underneath the thigh. Keep the chest nice and lifted. Again, just going for 30 here. This will be over quick. Pass and pass. Trying to reach that leg long. And always thinking about our posture. Just 10 left here. Reaching through for six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Well done. All right, we are getting there. We got a single leg teaser, straight leg lift. We're alternating sides for this one. Opposite hand reaches for the toe, rolling all the way up, all the way down. Try to coordinate both halves of the body together. And of course, you can always modify this one by bending the knee as opposed to straight leg. And also always option to let go of those weights. Keeping your gaze towards the leg, towards the toe. Folding right in half. Right, think about the chest pulling towards the thigh. So we're moving, keeping our posture nice and strong. Just 10 more to go, cross and reach for nine. Six. Five, four, you can even grab onto that thigh if you need. Last three, final two, and one, release towards the floor. We're gonna keep it moving right into our next one. Squeezing your legs together, sitting up nice and tall. We have roll backs. Arms reach overhead once you get onto the mat. 
Really feel the legs squeeze together. And again, I want you to find your tall spine at the top. So stacking the shoulders over the hips, anchoring down through your sits bones, reaching up through the crown of your head. Really draw the belly back as you articulate the spine up and off that mat each time. Try to keep the backs of the legs anchored into the mat underneath you. And again, modifications here, you can always bend your knees, even grab onto your thighs as you walk up and down. We want to avoid using momentum or throwing yourself up. So really let it be nice and smooth. Finding that flow and that control. Exhale brings you up. Inhale, lower back down. Making sure the elbows are lifted so we're not collapsing into the rib cage, but really allowing the body to take the fullest breaths we can to work the muscles as efficiently as we can. You got 12 left here. Reaching the toes towards the opposite edge of the room. And again, find a tempo that works for you. You don't have to match my tempo, right? Work with your body, your space, your mat. I'm here to guide you. You always know your body best. So listen and tune in. Last four roll-ups. Keep your focus. Connecting into your breath. And we made it. Last one. Whew. All right. Weights are going to go down, but we're going to come onto our back. We're going to get into those low abs with some jackknife leg lifts. Inhale, lowering the legs down together. Exhale, reach the toes up towards the ceiling. Really use the arms to anchor down into the floor. Keep the collarbone nice and wide. Pin the backs of the shoulders into the mat. And just like every other exercise we've been working on, find control. Articulate through the lower back. And only go up as high as you can. Go as low as you can. So even if it's just a few inches up off the mat with your tailbone. As long as you're challenging yourself, get a little uncomfortable. Exhale the effort up to the top. Keep the legs squeezing together so as if you're working like you have one leg. All the energy is pulling into the midline. Really keep that energy building now. We're just onto the last few. Exhale, drive those hips up. Inhale, lengthen out. You've got five left. Poke a hole through the ceiling with those toes. Exhale, pause at the top. Last two. And last one, lowering all the way down. Go ahead and hug your knees into your chest. Maybe a little rock side to side, stretch out through that low back, nice deep breaths. And when you're ready, you're gonna grab onto one weight. You're gonna, again, squeeze it between the feet. So we're holding onto that weight and we're going into double leg stretch. So curling head, neck and shoulders up off the mat, reaching for the heels each time. Inhale, lengthen arms back, exhale, circle the around, big hug. So we wanna to try to maintain that stable spine the entire time, chin in towards your chest, trying to peel all the way up to the tips of the shoulder blades and really feel that extension from your fingertips to your toes lengthening out of your waistline. Deepen the abs as you pull the thighs in. And if your neck starts to strain, if that tension takes over, just lower the head to the mat. You can keep the arms and legs working. Exhale. 
Good, going as low as you can with those legs, but always remembering the priority is the position of the spine, the engagement of those transverse abdominals pulling in and down. Right, so you want to see the belly drop down instead of pooching out. You've just got six left now. Can you curl up a little bit higher? Dig a little bit deeper. Shh. Out and reaching around, drawing the biggest circle you can, reaching to the walls. Last two. And release to the mat. Grab the weight, set the weight off to the side. Whew. Give the neck a little break here. Extending the legs, just feel the body relax into the mat for a moment. We're on to our final exercise. When you're ready, exhale, lift up into your teaser shape. Now we're gonna lower down into our hollow hold and we're going into our starfish, open and close. So we're keeping the abs scooped out, reaching the arms wide, reaching the feet wide, keeping the legs slightly above the hips. Externally rotated through the legs, heels together, toes apart, squeezing in through the outer thighs, reaching wide to the side, keep the nose reaching up and over, looking towards the toes. This is a strong last push. Make it really worth it here at the end of your workout. Keep building, go towards that burn. This is your final three. Last two, and you made it. Hugging those knees into your chest, let your head flow down. Whew. Take a sigh of relief. Tap knees side to side. And then maybe holding. And rotate other side. And then when you're ready, we'll rock it up to turn around onto our belly to stretch out our abdominals here. Hands right underneath the shoulders. Take a big inhale, float the head, neck, and shoulders up. Belly lifts, looking to the right. Draw a line on your chest as you circle the chin around to the left, back to center, and then slowly lower down, lengthen out of your spine. And we'll reverse that inhale, looking to the left. Chin to chest, circling around, back to center, and then hips up and back into your child's pose. And just take a moment here, let the hands circle back towards your heels, let your shoulders relax, fall in. And let everything soften, returning to your breath. Slowly start to round up, stacking your spine. And just bringing your hands to prayer for a moment, acknowledge your hard work. I thank you guys so much for showing up, making it to the end. Until next time, peace and love.